And it's time now for JN Interactive. If we are Harrison Hi. is here. How yes, are you? I'm here and I'm ready to continue the discussion on let's, uh, let's this whole strike It's a whole issue. lot of angles to it. A and whole lot of angles. Yeah. And, well, we want to hear from you. Mm. So that's why we're here on JN Interactive, to hear from you. It's your show now. All so, right. Take it away. Well, all right. Now, the public sector workers' strike over pensions is taking a huge toll on different sectors of the economy, education and health seem to be hurting the most. Some public schools have children loitering about because teachers are also on strike. Today on JNI, we look at the impact of the strike. I'm Ifo Akwa Harrison. I'll be right back. Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time. Please feel free to contribute via social media. We're on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. You can also find us on Twitter. It's at join news on TV or at JN Interactive GH. Or send us an email. It's join news IM at multitvworld.com. You can also send your messages through on WhatsApp. The number is 0540109000. Nine. The number again is 0540109009. Please remember to keep your language clean on all our social media platforms. And Surfline proudly supports Joy News Interactive. Surfline, it's about time. Now, almost all government hospitals nationwide say they are only attending to emergencies and inpatients. Outpatients would have to wait till the strike is over. Or better yet, when their sickness reach Im emergency status. Now, to those who can afford private hospitals, that would be the place to go. We touch base in Bogatanga and Tamale to look at how the strike is affecting health and education. Now, on the phone is uh, um, Albert Sori, our Upper East Regional Correspondent. Welcome to Joy News Interactive. Thank you. Now, Albert, how is the strike impacting um, education and health in your region? Well, today um, it's, it's gotten worse uh, from what was happening yesterday. Now, the government schools, the public schools, most of them have closed uh, because the teachers are not coming to school. So um, the schools I visited today, you know, uh, there, there, was, there was no... Uh, school activity. Everyone had gone home and the schools were closed. Also at the hospital, uh, the nurses have joined the strike. Uh, what they have said is that they will only uh, consider people who come for, you know, uh, who will come to the hospital with emergency, emergency cases. cases. So, hmm. Yes. So, uh, for instance, if a pregnant woman should come to deliver, they will attend to her. And if someone comes there, maybe because of an accident or uh, emergency surgery, they will attend to such people. So the OPDs were virtually empty because people went there, nobody attended to them, and they had to leave. Of these people, what are they saying? How do they feel, the people themselves? Well, everyone is frustrated, especially for people who went to the hospital to seek health care and they were not attended to. Um, those who felt their situation were getting uh, serious had to now uh, try the private hospitals to see if they can get health care. And so it, it, if you don't have the money uh, to afford a private hospital, it means that definitely it's going to have a toll on you economically. So everyone is quite frustrated. All right. Thank you very much, Albert. Sorry, is our correspondent in the upper East region. Now let's move over to the northern region. Um, um, Hashmin Mohammed joins us. Welcome to Join News Interactive, Hashmin. Okay, I, I'm I'm told he's not online. We'll try and link up with him as well to also get an update on the situation over there. Now let's bring you back. Or let's bring you to Accra before we try and link up with Hashmin again. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital is strictly attending to emergency cases and 
inpatients. Now, family members of inpatients are not happy with what is happening. They want government to solve uh, the issue, the pensions issue of the public sector worker promptly. Let's take our first video blog. You know, the health sector is what we all consider over here now. And to get to the health sector, unless you get to a hospital that uh, no one is attending to you, I think it's not, it, it, it's appalling. So like, it, it's very bad, it's very bad. Because we have a right, you know, everyone have a right to health care. And I don't understand why maybe you may take your car from far village to this place that you see you coming to the hospital that they will not attend to you. It's very bad. I came here this morning, you know, I, I hear that um, they were complaining that, oh, there's no doctor, there's no doctor. Even I saw someone like uh, that uh, has been brought um, this morning with um, this ambulance. And they were crying, they say, oh, there's no doctor, which is bad. It, it's, bad. it's really bad. But looking at the striking, I think um, it has really affected so many lives, you see. In the form of, you know, the doctrine not coming. Even I, when I was here this morning, I saw some of the nurses going out, you know, just because of they are they, they not being paid, you see. Yeah, so I think it's, it's really affecting so many lives, you see, yeah. But it can be affected everybody, patient or not the patient, everybody. Because I think that the strike is no good at all. Uh, because what is going on in the Ghana, everybody also can take about it and uh, sit down and uh, see what we can do and uh, solve this one. Uh, but if this one also is going on, every blessed day is very, very bad. And they're going to have to try as much better as he was trying to just to take care of the workers, their, uh, their needs. Uh, everything that they need from him, he have to um, give to them so that everything should be going on smoothly. Views from the streets, uh, we have more views on social media. I'll take them after this. <laughs> And this is still your most interactive half hour with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. We are finding out from you what you think about the strike action by 12 labor unions in the country. Uh, let me read a few of your Facebook comments. And Newton Jaffet says they can take legal action, but the government should be up and doing. Why should they always wait for workers to embark on strike before taking action? The strike is a step in the right direction. Workers are no longer going to sit for the government to take them for granted. So that's from Newton Jaffet. Um, Wiz Brimo says the strike should still hold. This is even though uh, government is calling it illegal and is talking about suing uh, the unions. And I'm having a bit of a technical difficulty with my iPad here. Okay, Joyce Boafo says, as a Form 3 student, teachers don't come to class to teach, and this is really affecting us. From, so that's from Joyce Boafo. Uh, kudos, Timite says, strike is illegal in Ghana. This is another lie by the government. I think government has problems with negotiations. The only language that the government understands a strike without strike action we expect no miracle from the government and so those are some of your comments coming through on social media now I'm told um, Nuruddin Mohammed is online let's quickly link up with him in um, Kumasi um, Nuruddin welcome to join news interactive thank you very much now can you please um, update us on the strike situation in Kumasi well, it, it, it is, uh, it is. I mean, the, it is as expected. Uh, yesterday, we I went to the metropolitan part of the commercial metropolitan city, and the situation, I mean, is getting worse. Teachers are not coming to the class, and when you go to some schools, I mean, the classes are locked, and some of the students have decided to stay in their houses. Uh, some, I mean, are roaming about in town. Uh, today, I went to the Confounders Teaching Hospital and basically, you see the same. Doctors are not working and patients have to come and go back. So, mm. 
uh, for here, it hasn't changed at all. Hmm. Teachers are not in class, and doctors are not also working. And, and have you spoken with the students? Have you spoken with, you know, patients bringing relatives to the hospital? What's the feeling for them? Tell us about their frustrations. Well, for the students, uh, those that I spoke with are uh, saying that uh, uh, all they had was their teachers on site, so they were asked to go home. So they, they don't know what to do. They are waiting to see what will happen in the subsequent days, whether uh, they'll fall off the track so that they'll go back to school. For the patients, you know, some of them were frustrated. They have no other places to go because some travel from far away to, I mean, uh, to your conformity in hospital where they think that they will have a better medical checkup. And unfortunately, doctors are on strike. So uh, some have to wait for a while and then leave. I mean, thinking of part where to relocate for their medical checkup. So uh, it's really a hard time for them. And so they, they, they finally have to, I mean, leave the hospital and go back home. So there wasn't any doctor or any nurse to take, I mean, care of them. So some even, uh, at the time I went, some, I mean, came with their uh, surgery cards and they were told to go back because doctors were not working. So they had to leave. So the situation, I mean, it, it's just worse and uh, they, they are complaining, they are complaining. Really All right. Thank you very much, Nuruddin Mohammed. Uh, let me just read a few of your um, WhatsApp com um, comments coming through. Um, I want to tell the minister that trust is not commanded at its end. Um, what has the government done to earn our trust? Unpaid salaries, unpaid incremental arrears, unpaid allowances, and they want us to trust them with more money. Um, Aluta Continua, that's from Joshua right here in Accra. Now, let's go to our Upper West Regional Correspondent, Rafiq Salam from WA. Welcome to Join News Interactive. Thank you very much. Now, what's the strike situation in your region? The situation, uh, as other people mentioned, uh, is not different. The strike is really hitting hard on the populace of the Upper West Region, uh, especially when you take uh, the education fund. Mm. Today, I went to some public schools in the WA municipality, notable among them the WA Model School and also the WA Limayri Model School. So these are two different schools that are situated about thousand. Uh, about 2,500 kilometers apart from each other. And the situation there was different uh, because when I went to the WA model primary school, I went there around 9 o'clock, and then the headmaster of the school, uh, Mr. Paul, uh, you don't know, I just uh, asked the student, the pupils to go home. And so I inquired why he has asked them to go home, and he told me that, uh, since the strike has started, the teachers have not been coming to school. And so he is always the only person in the school. And so he decided to ask them to go home indefinitely. And the situation at the Walimairi Model School was also different because I went there and I saw uh, several teachers uh, there. They uh, sat at Kimbo and then also while the children uh, were playing around. Uh, they, and even somewhere on the riding speed using their bicycles. So I asked them what they were doing. The teacher told me that, yes, uh, they also came uh, to learn. They didn't come to teach uh, the children. Uh, that's really the situation uh, in the educa education front in the upper school. But talking about workers, I went to the RCC, the upper school, the upper Nathan Council, uh, where I, I met workers there, and there the situation was different because they were really working. So in terms of the workers' front, the workers somehow, some of them, majority of them are working, and then also, but when you come to the situation uh, at, the, at the education front, that is where it's really hitting hard on the people. Wow. What about um, the hospitals in the Upper uh, West region? I mean, we learned um, from Albert Sori in the Eastern uh, region that even nurses are joining the strike. The situation of Upper West region, the doctors and then also the nurses will always tell you that for the Upper West region, Doctors or nurses are always on strike. That's, the, that's what is the situation that has always been uh, pinned for us. Uh, they have always uh, pinned for us because what is really happening is that 
The case of the upper was a total population of about 678,000 people. We have less than 15 doctors in the whole of the region. Mm. And so if you are talking about doctors in the upper was or nurses, they are not really available. We are talking about a whole world at Kolibuti Chung Hospital or the Kofuanati Chung Hospital uh, has more doctors than the whole of the upper west region. And so wow. the doctors or the nurses will tell you that in the upper west region, do doctors or nurses are always on top because the people are already not there. But the situation they are really managing, and so somehow they are also attending to inpatient uh, uh, at the hospital. All right, thank you very much, Rafiq Salam, Upper West Regional Correspondent. I have a few more of your comments after this. And so many of your comments coming in. Prince Boadu says the government has lost its sense of direction. The labor union has every right to embark on a strike action. What is expected of the government is to have them settled once and for all and stop thinking of issuing an unnecessary court suit. Uh, Nana Kwame Dampari says the government should give them their money. And um, Ob Obo Daniel says, hmm, Ghana. Is this the better Ghana agenda you proposed? Uh, Eduko Isaac Asa, you think the strike is not helping and that they should go back to work because it doesn't help? And new man Stanley Mamata says, if they like, let them be in the house for 12 years. Still, we shall survive by the special grace of God. Why are we behaving like we are not citizens of this great nation every little thing strike what is going on at all we think we are doing um president mahama ham i laugh because at the end it is us the citizens that will suffer more than the president so that's a new one from newman stanley a, a long one rather from um newman stanley mamata uh, majida would well, you think it's crazy that government is suing uh the labor unions for embarking on a strike so those are your comments on facebook and quickly on whatsapp there my observation the government should find a better way of resolving issues than worsening it with the employees of this country can't be taken for granted and that's from k mante from Fomena. Mm. And Desmond Apia from Awasu says, we are not happy staying away from work and idling around. But if a president has decided not to listen to anyone, who should also listen to them? Uh, Pre Proverbs said, he who shuts his ears from the cry of the poor shall also cry but not be heard. He should resolve the pension Amen. issues <laughs> and pay us our arrears no, no, and let bygones be bygones. But, and as you can see, yeah, it's quite obvious on your I mean, screens, school children kids. idling. Absolutely, and and one particular aspect of this particular visual that gets me thinking and asking questions is. Uh, the part where we see some of the school children fidgeting with their mobile phones and perhaps asking themselves, what's that? Uh, is that is that a story on, on, on the fact that labor unions are on strike? Or, or mm -hmm. could they have seen any picture that might have tickled their fancy? Hmm. <laughs> and, and they're using mobile phones in school. Yeah. Who's there to check them? Well, they're on strike. They're on strike. Yeah. Look at that boy. Yeah. Sad. Just playing the Form 3 students. Well, say they are learning on their own, you know, and then the rest, uh, I guess they are just having a holiday. A holiday. Yeah. Um, and, but, and see this boy on a tree, uh, monkeying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of them, the students especially, are concerned that, you know, they'll be writing examinations yeah. with other students who attend private schools. Exactly. And How are they gonna... getting access to education right now and are learning right now. So... You know, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's not a laughing yeah, matter at it's all. Not, it's not. It's not at all. It's quite a sad situation. But but Ghana. the people do feel that you know workers have a right to be concerned, mm. and you know, strike, I agree with most of them, especially Mama. is the best mm. way to get to you know government. Yeah. So hey, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Anyway.
uh, at least Austin Game and uh, Mohamed Afuma are saying that we should be optimistic. So let's yeah. see. Let's yeah. keep our fingers yeah. crossed yeah. and see yeah. what happens next yeah. week. So it's, it's Friday. Yeah. We, we bring a wrap to the weekend. We hope you enjoy your weekend. My name is Ifua Kwa Harrison. And my name is Prince Minka. Have a great weekend. Good night. Joy News Interactive was brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time.